I'm Alicia. Um, I really like working with young people and I really like my subject. I like getting young people talking about it. Um, my name's Tani and I wanted to be an English teacher from the time I was probably talking, really. Probably because I like talking so much, really. <laughs> <laughs> this is you first. You'll see these sort of common concerns. Yeah, statements. Statements, Sorry. concerns. What we want you to do is have a look at the statements on the wall. So if you want to have a look at those... The, the barriers that they may have, because we want to be exploring concerns, fears, etc. So we want to establish a, a safe way of working. Physically place yourself, okay? If you're close, if you're far, to how concerned you are in relation to the statement you've chosen. So if you're very concerned, you could be virtually standing on it. Hang on in the cheap seats. Listen. I am concerned that I do not know enough about the particular needs of the pupils. Okay, so how close are you to that? Um, quite close. Not on top of it. Not on top of it? What about yeah, yourself? Same. same. What about you? Mm, I'm a bit far away from it. And why is that? Because I'm conscious that uh, there will be some paperwork behind and then there's support of the mainline teachers they had. So I'll always bounce on somebody that knows about the children. And personally, having had a bit of experience uh, with them, so I'm not too Absolutely much fine. I like how you've, you've got a hope already. But sometimes, if you are in a stressful situation at work, your colleagues can just say, look, go and have five minutes. Yeah, the same sort of thing, really. I mean, look, that's my only concern that I do have. I don't want to do something that's going to really annoy a child like that just start a situation no, when no, there no, wasn't no, one in the no, first place. No, that's no, that was my concern really, but I know that there's gonna be so many people that do know. Now now we have your concerns. You've picked them up, right? Okay, so you've looked at that. We want to do something completely different. What we'd like is this. It is very great to know that the placement school mentors are real. Really? Yeah, real, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're there to support and not judge us. I feel really lucky to have this opportunity to work with people on the staff. How does that make you feel? Excited. Excited that you've all chosen to come in to special schools. Yeah. It's something that I've absolutely loved. So I think, you know, I'll learn as much from you and I'm sure you'll learn and make that positive contribution. The Special School Placement Project was launched at Keele University with the AT students and their placement schools and colleges coming together to share their aspirations and hopes for the project, but also any fears and challenges that they felt that they may have in relation to such a unique environment? And, um, maybe sort of, if they've got any any anxieties, sort of put them to bed really. And it's quite exciting really for, for, for the schools that are involved with it. Now we've done our maths, and we've thought about what we need on the moon. Yeah. Yeah. And we've much more relaxed. Happier, I'd Happy, say. You yeah. can have more fun with the lessons. The lessons aren't as rigid like the one that we've just done. That was, it was just, well, it, we think that the year sevens might quite enjoy this, so yeah, go and do that. Brilliant, won't I? Shane can contain Yes, that's not very good, yeah. Oh, can you the picture help with this? Handle. With a handle, yes. Well, yeah. treasure. That treasure. Not the biscuits. Not the biscuits, definitely not. Biscuits or buns. I don't mm. think so. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that choir, I think, besides entertaining us and everybody else, I think it's quite therapeutic to them because often after they have heard that singing the lights, they release that other extra energy that makes them fidget in classes and often times you see them concentrate very well after singing. Yeah, I think it encourages them to join in. They love it, um, you know, they, it's all voluntary, they're in it if they want to be. You are spot on, 250, 250 are spot on, that is one way of checking. Is it better to look at the level so much, yes. I've, I've actually bonded very well with the young people, and I think that's my choice now. And for special schools, I've got some little things inside, but actually many things. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, I was really nervous at first, the the very start of it, because 
so different to like main, to mainstream school. And um, I wasn't, I knew it was going to be different, but I wasn't expecting it to be as different as it's been. And um, something that um, I've, I think is that it's almost like I've had to sort of unlearn some stuff and then relearn. It's like a different style of teaching altogether. Um, but it's been really enjoyable. And I feel like I've learned more in this four weeks um, than I, I could have, have, have ever wished for, really. I've, I've learned more. It's you and me and my husband when we got married. I told you about that Labrador puppy, didn't I? That's him when he was a little puppy. Aww. In this school, everything is around pupils. Pupils don't have to bend to fix the rules, the routines, and the schemes that the school have got. It's everything that's done is around those individual pupils. It's really, really pupil friendly, pupil centred, and it's it's how it's how I've come to think schools should be. And I, I'm not sure um, how I'm going to change. Um, I mean, obviously, I can't change the whole education system, but I think my set, my style of teaching will be different, and I'm going to try and be more pupil centred than thinking I've got this assessment to get out of them. You know, I'll be thinking, well, what can your pupils get out of them? Not what can I get out of the pupils? A tasty treat. I think it looks like a potato. Rat. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <That's that one. laughs> so there's an apple healthy. It was, um, it's always a good experience because every lesson we've done is different. It depends, all the kids are in a different mood, you don't know how they're going to react to what you're doing, so it's, it's a brilliant experience. Brilliant experience. And um, today's lesson went really well. It was nice to see they were all engaged and they all wanted to learn, which is a nice feeling. We team teach, and that was what we came up with because we wanted them to see what was healthy and what was unhealthy. And so we thought actually getting them to hold the foods and touch the foods and kind of visually seeing them would help them understand that more. At Blackfriars Further Education College, the ATs experienced an environment that concentrated more on sensory and experiential lessons in order to prepare the students for everyday life. At the end of their placement, the ATs returned to Kiel with their placement schools to reflect and evaluate their experiences. The ATs were able to explore how their subject knowledge, their teaching strategies and practices were able to be implemented in ways that invigorated and excited them as teachers about to embark on their chosen profession. The experiences of them teaching in their placement schools illustrated the impact their unique schools had on them personally and professionally. I think, um, again, combining the two, being creative in, in the way of um, assessing the students as well, because um, especially with like the PMLD groups, I think that if they all have the same target of making choices or tracking an object, you might have to do several different strategies to try and get um, that target met. In a special school, um, you can take the, the two hours or the hour with them and just go outside and think of something outside the box and just develop it that way. So I think I had put myself into a bit of a mould and then this placement really thought, made me think, well, I don't actually have to have on paper every lesson, right, that child has made progress. You can go out and do it a different way and the kids are still making progress. And you forget that teaching should be creative and it should be fun and it should be about the students. And it's really, really helped remind me of that and that's something that I want to take forward in my job in September so that the students are having fun every lesson and they want to come into the lesson. But they do, I mean, you can't, you can't get them out. They're all just the, the, like itching to get in your classroom every single lesson. Instead of just like loitering outside going, oh, we've yeah. got science again. And, it, and that's when I realised that you can't judge someone on. Obviously, you wouldn't anyway, but it, just because they can't communicate doesn't mean they don't. Yeah. Yeah. I always think about um, what I want to get out of the lesson from the pupils, what, you know, what I want to impart to them. 
but I think in the basement it's been what the pupils can get out of it and it's kind of turned it on its head because the school's a lot more pupil centred whereas I found mainstream more assessment centred, school centred, routine centred um, and it's completely not as well. For those of you who don't really know me, I'm a teacher at Blackfriars School and Christine and Rose with me for the last four weeks. Um, at Blackfriars, we're a small staff and a lot of us have been there for quite a few years and so it was so refreshing for you all to come and shake us all up a bit and see new faces in the staff room, so that was really good. And because there's one history teacher, one English teacher, the pupils get the same teacher for five years. And so it was so lovely to sit in a classroom and see Christine teaching them <laughs> and, have, and for us to get new ideas from you as well. There's not one, been one day on a special school placement where I've got off and thought, oh, I've got that class again. I hope to be teaching in a special school this time in a year because I've loved the special school placements.